30 times. Two times more. And stop. So your question, the difference between a, a, a thought, or indeed any object, but let's explore thoughts to begin with, and the, the space or the space-like field in which they arise. So prior to the arising of a thought or a perception, what is there in this empty knowing field other than this empty knowing? Well, obviously there's, there's nothing else there because the question is what is there before anything else has arisen within, before any thought has appeared or perception. So, Prior to the arising of any thought or perception, there is just this empty knowing field. Now, does the thought, when a thought arises, is it placed into the field from the outside? Or does it arise from within the field? That does it enter the stage like an actor waiting in the wings just out, just off stage and then appears on the stage, but is, is, is your next thought waiting just outside the field of awareness, waiting to make its entry? Or does the next thought arise within awareness? What is there in awareness prior to the arising of the thought, out of which the subsequent thought could be made? Thirty times.
Two times more. And stop. So the only substance present in awareness, yeah. out of which thought, or indeed any experience could be made, is awareness itself. If you leave a bucket of water outside on a, on a frosty night, ice will form in the bucket. Is the ice placed into the bucket from the outside, or is it, does it form within the bucket of water? It, it forms within the bucket of water, and all there is in the bucket of water is, is water. There's nothing else that the ice could be made of. So although the, the ice seems to be something different from the water, seems to have a different name and a different form, it is made out of the stuff of water. And likewise, a, a thought, the only stuff present in awareness, is awareness. There is nothing else present out of which the thought, or indeed any experience, could be made, because all experience arises within awareness. Have you ever had, or could you ever have, an experience that arose outside of awareness and then entered into awareness? No, so all thoughts and perceptions arise in awareness, and, and therefore awareness is the only thing present that any experience could be, could be made of. So the question then remains, well, what then is the, what is the difference between a thought and awareness if a thought is only made of awareness, but at the same time, a thought seems to be something different from awareness. <coughs> a thought is something, but awareness is not any kind of a thing. So how can we reconcile these, these two facts of experience? Thirty times. Two times more. And stop. In this way, by saying that the, the thought is, a, is a, a modulation or a temporary name and form of awareness, just like ice is a temporary name and form of water. So, Let's break this down into, into stages. Is there anything to a thought other than the experience of thinking? No. And is there anything to thinking other than the knowing of it? No. So, knowing is, is awareness. Mm. So, when we talk of something called a thought, we, we talk about an object. 
and a thought seems to be a, a discrete object, an object with its own independent existence. But when we look more closely, we never actually find a discrete object called a thought. For instance, take the thought, what shall we have for, for dinner tonight? S sound the thought in your mind, what shall we have for dinner tonight? And when the, s slow it down, replay it in slow motion in your mind. When the, when the what sounds in your mind, where is the, shall we have for dinner tonight? Is it waiting just outside awareness to come in or is it totally non-existent? Totally it, non it's utterly non-existent. And when the shall sounds in your mind, where is the what and the we have for dinner tonight? The, the what has vanished. So we, we never even experience a thought in the way we think we do. Thought is more like a process of thinking rather than object called a thought. So now go to the process of thinking, which is less, it, uh, thinking is a, a verb, a thought is a noun, it's less substantial. So now, now take the experience of thinking. If you were to touch the stuff that thinking is made of, what is there? What is the substance, the stuff it is made of? Well, it would be awareness. The, the knowing of it. The knowing of it. Yeah. Not even the knowing of it, because there's no it other than knowing. So the thinking is just a modulation of knowing. It's not the knowing of it. So when the teaching speaks of thoughts appearing in awareness, like, like, like objects appearing in empty space, it's just um, a halfway stage of understanding. It, it, it's, it, um, it's an antidote to the belief that awareness appears in the body. 